Greetings from Washington, D.C., our nation's capital, and home to the U.S. National Academy of Sciences. I am Ralph Cicerone, President of the U.S. Academy. I'm sorry that I cannot be with you in person, but on behalf of my fellow members and all the staff of the U.S. National Academy of Sciences, I wish to extend my warmest congratulations to Professor Amun Oh and the entire Ghana Academy of Arts and Sciences on this occasion, your 50th anniversary. The fact that your academy was founded only two and a half years after Ghana gained its independence is an important reminder that even decades ago, leaders in Africa recognized how important the ties are between science, society, and government. Strengthening those ties, of course, is the premise of the African Science Academy Development Initiative which we are proud to be part of. As President Obama said in his speech to the Parliament of Ghana earlier this year, this is a new moment of great promise for Africa. And I know that all of you representing National Science Academies from across the continent are playing a bigger role than ever before in helping to fulfill that promise. Because of science and technology, Africa is more connected to the global economy and on the threshold of major advances in development. For those advances to occur quickly and safely, however, the policy-making process must be guided by the best available science. Likewise, governments will increasingly rely on scientists to confront new challenges. Some challenges, like climate change, will affect the entire world, but they may have a more severe effect in parts of Africa. In his speech in Ghana, President Obama also emphasized that Africa's future is up to Africans. Asadi is making it easier for governments in Africa to turn to their own scientists for the advice they need to overcome challenges and to take advantage of new economic opportunities. Indeed, Asadi is helping Africans to control their own destiny by providing the tools for African scientists themselves who obviously have the most knowledge of local conditions to offer homegrown advice instead of always turning to foreign consultants, as is too often the case now. Our Academy partners in Africa have made great progress in the last five years by improving their infrastructure, by hiring and training capable staff, and by holding workshops on important issues and producing advisory reports on a number of critical public policy challenges. Moreover, your conferences, like the one you are gathered at now, allow you to share the latest scientific findings and to plan future collaborations, and also to demonstrate to your respective nations and to the rest of the world that you stand ready to serve. I look forward to our continuing partnership, and I am grateful to the Gates Foundation for their continued support of this valuable effort. I would also like to thank my colleagues at the National Science Academies in Canada and Europe and at the Academy of Sciences for the Developing World who also are working to strengthen the capacity of our fellow African academies. Again, congratulations to the Ghana Academy and to all of our Asadi partners. Best wishes for a very successful conference. Thank you.